someone in your house suffering, somebody maybe you know, a neighbor's child, you know, one of four young people between 18 and 24 years old say they've considered suicide, and this is according to the CDC. So more than 40% have experienced a mental or behavioral health condition connected to the pandemic. That's why Cynthia Germanata, president and co-founder of the Born This Way Foundation, has come up with a new campaign in hopes of saving lives. And Cynthia joining us this morning. Good to have you on Good Day Again. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Let's talk about the staggering numbers and the new campaign you have uh, to really be more aware of ourselves. Yes, thank you. And you know, the numbers you referenced from the CDC, those were actually over just a 30-day period. So the surge in suicide among young people is so alarming. And we're doing everything we can at Born This Way Foundation to step up and address it. And we've teamed up with our friends at Find Your Anchor on a campaign called Please Stay. And it's really aimed at two things. It's aimed at finding an anchor in your life to help you stay. And that could be everything from a friend, a family member, 30 seconds of breathing, your favorite food. So one of the premises is to find your anchor and the other is to sign a pledge at pleasestay.us. And that commits you to please stay with us. And it's a very important reminder that you're loved and that you're not alone and that we want you to stay here and be with us. You know, when you mentioned just breathing, something that simple that we take for granted, but to have it consciously pay attention to it makes a big difference. It makes a huge difference. And these are things, you know, so many young people, they have lost connectivity. They've lost the discipline of life. And I think they're looking for things to, to do that are anchors in their lives and to feel valued and loved and feel like they're contributing. And this pledge is, is a great way. We want uh, as many young people as possible to see it. We've actually put up billboards everywhere from California to New Jersey and one went up recently in Times Square uh, asking young people to please stay. So is, are there warning signs, Cynthia, that we should be aware of with young people? You know, I mean, everybody seems to be going through, I call it the corona coaster. Some days you're good, some days you're really bad. But are, are there warning signs that we should know that this is a very dangerous time? It absolutely are. And, you know, I love what you call it, but I actually call it the second pandemic that we're facing, and that's mental health among all people. But, you know, when, when you can't see what somebody is thinking or experiencing, you have to look for changes in their behavior, in their thoughts, and in their moods. And it ranges, you know, based on age and also the severity of the issue that they're facing. But look for things in your children, like being more isolated, maybe spending time in their room, their grades might be slipping, uh, acting out, irrational behavior. These are just a few of the warning signs. And there are, there are many others that you can find at bornthisway.foundation as well as pleasestay.us. And it's, it's so important um, for us as parents, I think, to educate ourselves on what those warning signs are. I know that I didn't know. You know, we think um, they're teenagers and it's teenage behavior, but there are really very definite signs of, of you know, an urgent situation. And I love that you and your daughter have collaborated on this. So you've written a book together. Uh, we've talked about it on Good Day New York. Um, and uh, your daughter, Lady Gaga, do you call her Lady Gaga? Gaga? Um, um, uh, she's been very open about... I call, her, I call her Steffi, you know. And, you know, my, my team created this along with Find Your Anchor. And uh, Find Your Anchor was founded by Ali Borowski, who is a four-time suicide survivor. So we're talking about lived experience here. I mean, she knows what it's like. I'm in awe of her bravery and resilience and how she's choosing to step up and share that experience with young people and help them understand and prevent suicide, help them, you know, educate them and make them more aware. You know, uh, with Rosanna bringing up uh, your daughter, I know that you talked about how she has said that that they're not just pictures on screens, that they're real life people. And to be, to consider that, and in this moment we've been in such isolation that yes, while we're physically distant, don't be socially distant. That's correct, stay socially connected. I mean, it's, you know, 
all of these platforms now are helping helping us so much to stay connected and it's important every day to reach out and and maintain that connectivity because we don't feel so isolated and yes as my daughter says we're not just little rectangles you know on a, a laptop there's real people that you're talking to and you never really know what they're feeling so reaching out and asking them is is very important young or old i've heard you also talk about find your anger and we're in this moment anger. yes where anger. we are anchor where we're we're trying to find someone it could be anyone it could be Roe for me a husband a sister whatever it is or it could just be abstract yes and it can also change day to day it can change minute to minute I mean you know right now I'm connected with friends and family with movement whether that's ballet or, or power walking but anything that you that makes you feel joy uh, and that you might be passionate about. And we've seen young people connecting with so many anchors, you know, everything from volunteering in their communities, mm. buying groceries for neighbors, writing letters to frontline workers, connecting with family mem members. They're so creative and resilient. Well, this is beautiful advice. Thank you so much for putting it on our radar. Um, wondering how your daughter's dogs are doing after that terrible, uh, you know, attack in, in L.A., everybody okay? Yes, thank you so much for asking. I really appreciate it. I mean, under the circumstances, everybody's doing as well as they can mm -hmm. and on the path toward healing. So thank you very much for that. And can't wait to see her in the house of Gucci. I love those fashions. Oh, my God. She is a chameleon. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I want, want all the fashion. Right? <laughs> I'm wondering, can you go to Rome? I mean, I, I hear, you know, Italy is on lockdown. Can you go visit her on the set? Oh, I ask her every day and, you know, haven't been able to do it. But, you know, who Darn knows? Darn it. Que sera, sera. Que anyway. Sera. <laughs> since the, uh, be careful. Still be careful. Yes. Right. Exactly. exactly. Thank you so much. Uh, please stay. It's a new initiative, Born This Way. We, we appreciate you so much coming on for Good Day to York. Thank you both for having me. Stay well.